Let's investigate how activities relate to the application context. An Android app is a collection of collaborating activities. It's common for one activity to start another activity from the same APK. This is part of the normal workflow of an app. Let's look at some examples of activities starting other activities from the same app. Think of the standard Android apps like contacts, email, music, etc. One example would be your contacts list activity starting up a contact details activity and contact details activity starting up an edit contact activity. You don't start an activity directly. It's something Android does for you in response to your request. You need to use a few different Android types to make that activity request. First, package your request inside an intent object. Next, using a method from the context class, you send the intent to Android. Then, Android looks inside the intent object and uses the information it finds there to determine which activity to start for you. Context provides a collection of services to your activity. These services can be partitioned into a few categories. OS services, for example, is the access point for system services like starting an activity, accessing network connections, displaying notifications, determining GPS location, and more. The context also exposes information about your app, like the process name, the app description, default theme, minimum SDK version supported, and other details. Additionally, Context gives you access to all the resources and assets packaged inside your app's APK. Resources are non-code files like images, layouts, and strings. Because files in these categories are so common, Android provides convenient access. For example, it's easy to load an image resource into an image view. Assets are also non-code files, but their content is completely up to you. Think of assets as raw files where Android has no knowledge of their meaning. Therefore, you only get low-level access to them rather than the high-level conveniences of resources. Lastly, runtime file system locations are also provided through the context for things like your installed package, a place to store database files, or a place to store temporarily cached files. The activity class inherits from context. This ensures each activity has access to the environment for loading resources and interacting with Android. As a result, every one of your activities has all the context services available to it.